Reap. Oh well, but as I said earlier on in the playthrough, like I'm not soon to do 100% one of this anyway. I usually get that one every time though. Obviously my skills have come somewhat rusty, especially since the last playthrough which was... Oh god, when was that, like February? Listen up. We are not without enemies. Some of them you may even recognize. Although they cannot harm you inside this warp room. They can attack you on your way to the next room. To get to the next warp room, use the platform that appears in the center of the room. Good luck. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I was such a good dumbass, I didn't realize, I didn't know the definition of although, so I thought he meant I was going to have to fight a boss in this tiny room and I was panicking like hell. But then, of course, you do this. Alright, uh, let's fi fight for the second time on this channel. Let's fight Ripperoo. Actually, no, it's technically the third time, because we fought him twice in the first playthrough. His theme song's very similar to the one from the first game, although it's got added um, instrumentation this time. And well, it's, it's a very similar layout with, like, the waterfall. I, I gotta say though, like, this boss fight's a lot easier than this boss fight in the first game. Oh shit! I'd like to know which freaking university institute thought it would be a good idea to let Ripper ruin to the point where he's got a freaking graduation outfit on. He graduated in Ru. Well, that's just a surname. Yes. I got a master's in Ru. Oh. But I'm safe there. Usually that's a safe spot for the final wave of nitrogrades. Uh. I haven't got my gaming cap on today. So I was just thinking about it, like, I should remember, what is my favourite boss fight from the second game? I'd have to say... It's probably Engine, which is the last but one boss fight, although, like, the f this game has the lamest final fight of Cortex in all of them. Even, like, people complain about Wrath of Cortex's bosses, but no. Like, I'd argue that this, the final boss at the end of Crash 2 is even more lamer than that. And plus, you've got Crunch and Cortex and Mathic Cortex. But, um... But, it might... But I think this game... My favourite boss is in the whole Crash series is either... Engine in this... Or Dingo Dial in Crash 3. Because I just love the cutscene at the beginning of... Oh shit. Alright, what are we at? <laughs> I think this should be a safe spot. Yeah, we're good. Boom. Your ass is well and truly kicked. So you don't make an appearance in the series until Crash Team Racing, I think. Okay, that's the first walk we cleared. Way hey. <laughs> I see that Ribaru failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered, 20 to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all 13 of them, and this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Cortex oh, yes, ASMR! Uh, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Dad, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise. Dad, I can't take the data pack. Oh, crash! I need to find... I think a lot of people know this little secret. 
but if you just, if you basically commit <laughs> constant abuse to Polar, um, you get, I can't remember how many lives it gives you, it gives you, it gives you a decent chunk. Again, I think I brought this point up that Crush 1 wasn't very animal friendly, so I think by the time you get to Crush 2, they didn't even care anymore, they were just like, yeah. They reward it. <laughs> uh, you got 41 lives. Right. Oh, sweet! Wait, we can save. Okay, save. Ah, oh, we can overwrite that. Oh. Hmm. I wonder why it's called that. Hat. This surely is an explanation. I don't remember naming it that. Let's name it on this empty account. So we'll call this Pad the Wizard of Evil 5. No, we can't. This isn't enough room. But we'll call it Pad the Wizard of Evil 5. The Wiz. <laughs> oh, Pad the w That'll be Pad the Y. Oh, this is the room. <sighs> Good thing we got the saving thing sorted. Right. Onwards and upwards we go. Let's do snowbiz. Just checking the air. Just checking the screen's okay. <sighs> so yeah, I think if we if we do a playthrough of like Crash Free or something, I might play that on my PS3 instead. So just so we can avoid the saving debacle. Oh, <laughs> off to a great start. So, yeah, because basically we'll have unlimited signatures on the PS3. Oh, yeah, um, I should probably mention. Hello? Um, if people, people who own um, a PS2 Slim probably know this. Or at least a, a significant chunk of people know this is that whoa, um, if you own a memory card that isn't officially endorsed by Sony, um, the P the PS2 Slim for some reason does not re recognize it, so it, it forces you to format it, which will wi which will wipe all the data off it, which <laughs> it's a big big no no. Um, yeah, I, I found that out the hard way many years ago. Because I had to get rid of my original PS2 because it had it died of a discrete error. I actually used oh my god, I used to own um, the 60 gigabyte uh, PS3 model, which yeah, that got the yellow light of death, and I was like, but that was I don't know why uh, Sony didn't. Um, just continue the backwards compatibility with all the later models. And the, it was pro I guess it was probably just a pain in the ass to constantly put that technology in. But I'm like, if they know how to do it, then surely it's just a case. It would be a case of just copying and pasting the technology over the models. But um, I don't. I'd, I does not know shit. Oh God. Come on, you be. I think that those hedgehogs were from those road safety adverts, which they used to show in the UK a lot back in the day. But what are they doing in a crash game? Why they're not exactly encouraging road safety? <laughs> oh, one of these sections. Right, it's going to take some nice and slow. It back to formula. <laughs> Bingo. Oh yeah, this, this game, like, especially in the level Cold Hard Crash, oh god, when we get to that, rip. 
but yeah, the the, the late the snowy levels get really carried away with that obscuring 